And hello everyone to the start of a brand new series on this channel called Elle's Little Tips where I give you little tips and tricks that I find in video games or other people find in video games and pass on to me that I think you'll find handy in your gameplay experience. And today's episode we're going to focus on Don't Starve, how to lure out Krampus as well as get lots of morsels, feathers and seeds. Basically everything that you need not to starve. So let's get started. There's probably a multitude of ways that you can summon Krampus any way you want, killing different animals, but here's my method and here's what works for me. So what you're going to need is the bare minimum. You're going to need honey, because that can heal you if you get in a jam. You're going to need food, otherwise you'll starve. Straw rules, I'll explain why you need those in a minute. Some form of armor, like a log suit or a football helmet, and a weapon like a spear or a tentacle spike. Now as you can see, I've already set up a base camp and I'm collecting seeds. You don't need to get seeds in advance, but you are going to need them for this method. Now before you try to summon Krampus, if you've got a base camp, move. Krampus will come after any chests and any items you have at your base camp. So as you can see, I'm planning to go right here and I'm speeding up the video. There are a couple of other items that you'll probably find useful. And what I find it the best thing to bring along is a pan flute or sleep darts. And the reason for this is, if I'm going to summon Krampus, if I put him to sleep, then he is not going to be a hassle. But, you know, you can fight him mano mano. Me, I just want him dead. <laughs> I've never tried this, but a feather hat might also be useful because that increases the spawn rate of birds. And you can probably tell we're going to use birds. To spawn Krampus, you need to generate naughty points, which you do by killing innocent animals such as birds, pigs, beefle. I don't know what the exact figures for each animal are apart from birds, so they're going to go up on the screen from the Wikipedia now. And for this method, you just need to kill a lot of birds. Now I've just killed one. To do this, find some uh, find some birds and scare the seeds off of them, and then place yourself above the seeds, or you can bring your own seeds. It doesn't really matter. Either way, put yourself above the seeds. Make sure your feet are above them, aim at your feet with the mouse, and swing your spear as they come down. Can take a little bit of practice to get the timing right and also to get to, uh, to get where you're standing correct, but once you get it, all you have to do is basically just sit and click, and click, and click, and click. Pretty simple, huh? You can catch animals in a trap, but then you have to kill them outside the trap. So this just skips an extra step. You can also guess from this method, as long as you don't exceed the naughty limit, you can use this to farm for food easily and feathers. So just, if you're doing it purely for the sake of farming, don't go above 20 points. You can keep count of the points because red birds are two, crows are one. Just remember that. So red birds two, crows one. If you keep it track of the numbers, you can tell exactly how many naughty points you have at that present moment in time. Now Krampus will start making his presence known around 20 points, I think. That's when you'll start hearing him snarling and stuff. You might be able to hear him in the background currently, but you'll hear him definitely when it eh, when it slows down. What you have to bear in mind is it will get louder and louder as time goes on. Now as you can see, it's about to become nightfall. And, you know, at night you have to stop, you can set up a fire, you'll be fine. Or you can do what I did and get a sleep roll and when it properly becomes night, just fall asleep. What you have to be careful though is our hounds. If you do this method with hounds, make uh, with hounds possibly coming in, make sure you have some source of fire because you cannot sleep when hounds are coming, even if they're far away. And you should be able to hear Kramp uh, Krampus. The reason why I use sleep rolls is just so that I keep the naughty points up because night is about 5 minutes where you do nothing and for every minute you don't kill anything, the naughty points you have generated decrease. But we don't want that to happen. We want Krampus to come as fast as he can. Krampus, where are you? We cannot wait to, I don't know, kick your ass. So, bedtime. Wake up, eat all your food and get straight back to it. So the snarling you can hear will get louder and louder and eventually Krampus will come. Keep track of your naughty points because like I said it's between 30 and 50 points he generates. I think here it's 31. I double checked the footage and I'm pretty sure it's 31 but I don't know. You can count yourself. Remember, red birds 2, crows 1. So once you get Krampus what do you need to know? He will do 50 points of damage to you if you've got no armor on. If you have armor it'll be 10 points. 
And if you have a spear, you can take him out in four or five hits. Yeah. The first thing he'll do is try and go after items on the ground. If there are any chests nearby, he'll try and break them open and then take the items from, uh, from inside. So as you see, the Circle of Death has now got quite a large amount of items. And Krampus is going to go straight for these whenever he appears. Oh hi Krampus, how you doing? So, here's Krampus. Put him to sleep. Oh look, he's so cute. Kill him! Kill him! Kill him! Kill him! And now he's dead. So when Krampus dies, he should drop the following. He'll drop some monster meat, he'll drop a couple pieces of charcoal, and 1% of the time he'll drop his sack, which is a bag. It works like the backpack, only instead of 8 item slots, you get 10. So if you can get that, it's really good. And I think upon his death, your naughty points set straight back to zero. So you can try and summon him again right away. And let's have a look at the hall. Uh, yeah, it's quite a sizable haul. I've got 19 pieces of meat, that's a fair amount. Uh, lots of seeds, and actually I don't like the number 19, it's not even. Let's go kill this rabbit. Here, bunny bunny. There, 20. Much better. So that wraps up how to kill Krampus as well as get lots of loot. Uh, I hope I've answered all the questions here, but if there are any left, Post down below and let me know what you think of this tips video and if I should continue doing more. As always, thank you for watching and I will speak to you next time. Enjoy!